This episode of Real Garbage is brought to you by my mom's homemade hash brown casserole. I'm really missing it right now. This episode is also brought to you by rum and eggnog with a little bit of nutmeg sprinkled on top. Oh. Mm. Mm. This is real garbage. Honestly, for like people who don't like eggnog, I I'm like, I'm watch I'm keeping an extra eye on you. You got to you got to not turn your back on them. Yeah. Cuz I don't even know what exactly eggnog is. No, I no but I it, no is it is fucking good. It is pretty good. Every time this entire like month or longer, because eggnog's been out, I think since the last two weeks of November, mm-hmm. every time I have coffee at home, which isn't a lot because I'm rarely at home long enough to have coffee because I work all the time. But whenever I have a cup of coffee at home, I skip the cream. I skip the sugar. I just put eggnog in it. <gasps> Ooh. Yeah. That'd be pretty good. Yum. What flavor is eggnog? I would say it's on its own. It's like cinnamony, vanilla-y, but there's also like a clove undertone or like a yes. musk. A clove musk. Yes. Hmm. A clovey vanilla nog. Are there other kinds of nog? There's like a <laughs> coconut milk eggnog. Almond milk eggnog, soy ale, 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 a, a co- eggnog. A coconog? Yeah, coconog. Ooh, coconog. Trademark. Boom. <laughs> yeah. I haven't, I have, we had eggnog at work. Oh, we sell around an eggnog, but I don't have just been having like, you know, get there in the morning shift on Saturday. And, and have ooh. some eggnog. Yeah. I'm going to try to put an eggnog in my coffee. Do though. it. Never, it's so I good. Never thought of that. It's so good. I guess like I, I've been off, uh, I haven't had milk in a while. Like mm-hmm. months, well, since I tried my vegan kick there in oh, yeah. November, did twenty eight days. Damn, I started eating eggs two weeks in, and <laughs> but you know I, you re- don't realize like when you go out and buy a black bean patty and a like a veggie burger from somewhere, you are overpaying like a motherfucker. Really? Well, you can make four four black bean patties with one can of t- like one two dollar can of beans. It's super fucking easy. And you'd add like jalapenos, red Thai chilies, salt, pepper, garlic, crackers, fucking anything you want. Mm-hmm. And you just make these like a chili powder, taco seasoning in there too. And you make these these black bean patties. Yeah. You fry them in a frying pan. 50 cents a piece, you get these giant fucking patties for burgers. And they're so good. Mm. So I, I I refuse to go pay for like a veggie patty somewhere. I'm like, no, fuck that. Yeah. I know how much that costs. You're <laughs> marking it up by 800%. Fuck Whoa. you. It's crazy. I'll send you a recipe. You should try some. Yes. Things. They're really good. Because like I dated vegan girls before and they're like, ooh, try this imitation bacon. Ugh. Yeah. That's Listen, you shouldn't have imitation bacon if you're not going to eat meat. Yeah. It just doesn't make sense. I had an analogy for that at some point in my life, but I can't remember what it was. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but I'm back on the meat, man. Back I'm, on the meat I'm party. I'm loving it. I've been making um, <clears throat> like stews, like slow cooker stews, beef stews. I just buy like a big... Inside round roast and just carve it up into little cubes. Carrots and uh, potatoes and barley. Got to put some barley in there. Barley. Onions and peppers. and oh, I want to make another stew Yum. around Christmas time. Yes, Christmas time is the time for like hearty stews and soups and warm comfort food. It's slow cooker season right now. Yep, it's yep, been yep. raining like a motherfucker around here. Yes. Got the rain. last two days, whoa. It rained out on Friday. It was nice. My coworker and I, he was like, hey man, you guys want to take tomorrow off? I'm like, if it's going to be raining like this, yes. Yeah. Woke up at seven in the morning. He's like, uh, to a text, he's like, give us a good call. I'm like, yeah, today sucks. I just ended up smoking weed all day. Mm-hmm. But I was productive. I like, I wrote a couple jokes and Ooh. I did like some work on a script and I went to the gym. I went climbing. I signed up for a membership at Craig X. I'm now an official Craig X climbing member. Whoa. So now having a membership, I'm going to climb like three times a week at least. I can do Ooh. it. I can make it happen. And they're open till 11, which is cool because I can oh. do comedy on Tuesdays and go climb after. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked on that. Yeah. Climbing is so much fun. Have you ever climbed? No. Are you a climber? I'm interested in it, but I've never done it. Well, I can take two guests for free every month. 
that haven't been a guest of mine in 31 days. So you can come climbing with me sometime. Cool. If you want to try it. Yeah. I'm down. Just have to rent some climbing shoes. Wearing rental shoes seems like so gross. I know. It's like bowling shoes. But you're not wearing socks. You wear bare feet. What? You have to have bare feet in your climbing shoes. Why? What if I get warts? You can bring some really thin socks. Real thin socks. Real thin. Or I'll just wear pantyhose. You could do that too. Leggings. (laughs) Some leggings. Yeah. Leggings. Fun though. Climbing. You just feel like a little kid. Until yeah. you start doing some really hard wrestling. Like, and then like you're an like, adult. holy shit. Fucking badass. Oh. Um. <clears throat> Ooh. Hmm. So, when, when you were a kid, how, like, what age were you when your parents were like, we don't need a babysitter anymore. Like, you can, you can be by yourself. Well, I had an older brother and a younger sister. Oh, right. I'm pretty sure... I would have been like 12. My brother mm-hmm. would have been 15. Maybe even, no, younger than that, though, because my mom worked for a couple of years before she married my, married my dad when I was mm-hmm. 11. So probably when I was eight, maybe nine, and my brother would have been 12. Okay. So nine, 12, and my sister would have been seven. We were, we were, we were independent. Okay. But I took it upon myself to learn shit. Like, I my, my, helped yeah. my mom cook. I knew how to do laundry. We took care of horses, so we had, like, outdoor mm. shit we had to do, too. So I got responsible at a young age. Yeah. So, I, yeah, I'd say about nine, nine okay. or ten. Learn how to be independent-ish. Ish. Not, you know, deck fucking houses out with traps and shit like yeah. the motherfucker in this movie. Not like a sociopath. No. Where do you even get all the stuff? This kid, okay. I know. And where do you get the ideas? And the time. Yeah. The cause, time. Because that, like, this scenario is pretty immediate. Like, he finds out that they're circling houses and coming around, and he puts this tra- these traps and this idea together. And... You may think we're talking about Home Alone. We are not, though. (laughs) We're talking about Home Alone 3 with none of the original cast from the first two. And not even... So, Home Alone was a story about a kid who got left behind. Yeah. On Christmas vacation. Yeah. This was a movie about a kid who had the chicken pox, Mm -hmm. who stayed home most of the day alone till his mom came home. At the end of the day. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because how many days did this shitty movie take place over? It was, I think, two days. Yeah, he had the chicken pox. Yeah. You made an interesting point about the chicken pox. He never scratches. Not once. Nope. Not once. No. He's never, like, distracted by or uh, impeded by having the chicken pox. Yeah. Like, uh, there was a point I even thought, like, what the fuck are those spots on his chest? Yeah. It's like halfway and through the movie and there were none on his face. Oh, chicken pox. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh, that's why he's at home. This movie starts off. Okay. Like a spy movie. Yeah. I honestly thought I downloaded the wrong movie. Same. I thought I was watching the wrong movie. I was like, what the fuck? Is this true lies? And what was happening? So I was a, a, a little confused. They were were they waiting on a package? Yeah, they were waiting for a package, this microchip or whatever. Um, and then they got it, <coughs> and they head to the airport. And this is in this came out in 1997, so pre 9/11. They're in the airport. They have this sh- shopping bag that's a generic shopping bag, as we find out. And these four characters, dressed in all black, they seem like spies. They're walking around. They put the chip in this toy car and go to go through security. And this lady ahead of them in security grabs what she thinks is her shopping bag and is leaving the airport. And then the spies or criminals or whatever, we don't even know, like... Apparently, who they are, like or what Eastern they are. European terrorists, the FBI call, tells yeah. us later, that are working with North Korea. Yeah. They're trying to intercept North Korean like, shit. What the fuck is that plot? So, full disclosure, I watched the first 20 minutes of this movie last night, hammered. <laughs> I was like, oh, I got to get half this movie done tonight and I'll do the rest tomorrow before work. <laughs> and I, yeah, so I kind of had no idea what was going on, but I missed a lot of key points. Yeah. And uh, so. They're chasing this old lady down, 
and trying to get their bag back. And she doesn't have any checked bags, so she's ahead of them. And this character... She knows how to travel. Yeah. This character, one of the goons, has leather gloves that has a fucking 4K camera in it that can zoom in and take photos of that cab's license plate many cars ahead. This is 1997. The technology in this movie blew me away. Yeah. It really did. There were a lot of times where I was going... How the fuck is that working? Yeah. So yeah, the first 10 minutes of this movie goes by, and then we're like, okay, now what's going on? Yeah, and then we get to a... uh, The crooks go to a cab place, find the driver, and the driver's like, yeah, I dropped her off at a house on Washington Street. Uh, It was the only driveway that wasn't shoveled, no Christmas lights. And And then she goes home, puts up her lights, and then we're introduced to... Mm, Alex, who's shoveling her driveway. And I'm like, he's like seven years old. Yeah. There's no way that he's doing that as a chore or like a community thing. Like he's seven. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You, you want to be playing in the snow, not yeah, shoveling it. Yeah. That shovel is taller than he is. So then, um, he goes and tells this old lady that he's done shoveling her driveway. And we find out that she's a bitch too. And she's like, you told me you were going to do this earlier. Like, I don't, I'm not going to pay you for this. And he's like, okay. And he was like, that's fine. And she's like, oh yeah. So you can tell everyone that I stiffed you and then gives him the toy car that she took. Man, did I miss a lot of this when I was drinking. (laughs) And then he's scratching, and she's like, didn't your mother ever tell you that it's inappropriate to scratch yourself when a lady's present? I remember that. That was kind of fucked up. Like, Like, shut up, old old, old hag. Jesus. So then um, Alex goes home, and he starts just, he takes off his coat, which is normal. But then he was walking upstairs, and he's shedding his clothes. Oh, I made a comment on that. You little sack of shit. Pick your fucking stuff up. Yeah, you're responsible enough to shovel everyone in the neighborhood's driveways, but you're leaving, you're you're stripping on the stairs and leaving a, a clothes trail like Hansel and Gretel to your room. And then he's in the bathroom and he's like looking at his body and he's like, what the hell? And then he does something so fucking weird. He like strips, which that's not the weird part. He fucking bends over to like look at his butthole in the mirror or something and then screams. And then his dad and his sister say he slammed his thing oh yeah in the toilet seat <laughs> oh did you slam your thing in the toilet seat again yeah like how often has alex done this that both his dad and his sister are like yep that scream means he slammed his dick in the seat yeah, it's like a recognizable what? scream and also how are you peeing are you placing yeah, your dick on the bowl there's no way in existence that you could slam your balls and cock no. Un- under the toilet seat. Or are Unless you, you sitting... physically put it on there yeah. and then slam the toilet seat. Or down. are you sitting down to pee and then you like bring the toilet seat down, but it's one of those ones that slowly comes down, not one of the ones that you slam down. So then he goes to uh. sit and he traps. But I don't think those kind of toilet seats were in 1997. I remember as a kid, they were all the slammy ones. Yeah. Like it doesn't make sense. <laughs> Uh, well, one consistency we have in all these movies is that nothing in Christmas movies makes sense. Yeah. Who so, the fuck has a pet parrot? I know. Even like in the 90s, that wasn't a trend in movies. Like people didn't have parrots. Bird people are weird. I know. Also, that parrot, the way it was talking and the way it looked, it looked and sounded like the parrot that you interact with at the very end of the Pirates of the Caribbean ride in Disneyland. It's what? the exact same coloring. The parrot in there is like, walk, walk the plank, walk the plank. And this one is like, it sounds the exact same. It's like they got the puppet from Mm, Disneyland. They might have. Maybe. Maybe that's where all the budget went. I just, like, do, can you train a parrot to have that many, that wide of a vocabulary? And not just that wide of a vocabulary. 
the intelligence to know when to say those things. Like, mm-hmm. <laughs> I found that the actors in this movie they tried to get the characters to look somewhat like the characters from Home Alone. Yeah, like the mom kind of looks like Catherine O'Hara. Yeah, the red hair. The brother has a giant fucking head of hair like Buzz did. Yeah, I forget Scarlett Johansson was in this. I know the Scarlett Johansson is like the blonde sister from Home Alone, where she's like, uh, "You're what the French call les compétents." You're sleeping with Fuller. Yeah, he wets the bed. Fuller, go easy on the, the Pepsi. Pepsi. And he's like, Ugh. So this, again, we're going to go back to the, I'm talking about the weather in all these fucking movies. Yeah. So Alex takes his telescope upstairs to the attic, mm-hmm. swings the attic barn doors open. Yeah. With, it looks like it's not sealed up at all. No. And starts scoping shit out. Yeah. Now there's snow on the ground and people are running. Wait, what did I say? The people on the ground, people are running in full-on winter gear. Mm-hmm. But he's got the window open in pajamas. Yeah. Looking through his telescope. And he's what, not cold. What's the fucking temperature? I know. Like, who... God, I hate these movies. Yeah. So, they... Fu- yeah, he's he has chicken pox. He's in bed. His mom gets called into work. And his mom's on the phone. And he's ringing this bell. And she's like, Alex, I'm on the phone with the office. And then he stops, and then he starts ringing it obnoxiously again. And I'm like, oh, if I did that when I was a kid, fuck, nope. So then she goes up, and she's like, Alex, what? And he's like, can I have water? Like, you're telling me you're responsible enough to shovel the neighborhood's driveways, but you can't get your own fucking water. Chicken pox doesn't affect your ability to walk. And arm an entire house with the booby traps. Yeah. Like that's, you can't get your water, but you can do that. I will say his rat, uh, Doris, was cute. I, th- I was watching that going, a pet rat would be kind of cool. Yeah. A pet rat or a pet ferret. Mm-hmm. I could have something that could just curl up on my shoulder. Yeah. Be like, what's up? I'm chill here. His albino rat was so cute. So, okay, this, he phones, so he spots one of these guys going through the house. Yeah. And he calls the cops. Yeah, which makes sense. Why? So the neighbors are gone. Yeah. Why is their dog there? I know. And outside. Yeah. Was it outside or was it inside? It was outside. It was outside in the backyard chained up. Wow. Wow. I know. I didn't pick up on that. That's brutal. I know. Those what are the fucking fuck? horrible dog owners. Stupid. So fuck that guy. Yeah. But then this kid is like, so this kid's telling his mom what he saw. Now, like, if a kid is that passionate about, oh my God, I saw someone walk around the neighbor's house, blah, blah, yeah. blah. And, and the mom, their the story hasn't changed. And the mom's like, no, shut up. Yeah. I'm not fucking having any of it. Sorry, officer. Really didn't mean for him to do that. And then the officers are like, oh, that's not a joke, son. Like, yeah, because he's talking to, <laughs> is he talking to the chief at this point or is that no, later? No, that's later. Okay. But like, why would you think, like when I was seven years old, I couldn't come up with a convoluted False alarm prank like that? No, no. It's it's complex. Yeah. Because yeah, then again, so I, I said this kid's just gonna keep crying wolf because I think the next scene is he sees it again and he calls him again, and then once again the bad guys are gone, and they're like stop, f- stop fucking around, and he's like I'm not. Yeah, because the third time he's like I gotta take matters into my own hands. Yeah. And this is where I just start going. Fuck. Mm-hmm. Because now he has an RC car, a radio controlled car with a camcorder on top. And in 1997, <laughs> he is broadcasting video from that camcorder to his TV in his attic, yeah. which is attached to a VCR. Have you ever had a remote control anything? Yeah. What was the range on it? Not that. No. I could probably, if I had like in my old. Uh, house in Edmonton, we had like a long, a big basement, but it was really long. I could maybe drive it from one end of the basement to the other. So say like 40 feet. Yeah. Okay. 40 feet. I had one, yeah, probably about the same. Like we get a hundred feet away and I'm like, oh, it's not coming back. Got to take 10 steps forward before I can get it back. Yeah. This kid is, and it wouldn't work through walls. Mm-mm. This kid is driving this RC car from his attic through, across the street, mm-hmm. through a house. With full-on fucking video relay. HD video relay. God, it's just, it's so fucking silly. Yep. So this, I'm thinking, yeah, this this technology doesn't exist. So this is completely unbelievable. And how? 
How are none of the neighbors on the block suspicious Around. of these new four yeah. Eastern European dressed in black yeah. hanging out in the neighborhood. They didn't move in. Yeah, they've never seen them before, and now they're just jogging and yep. walking around. Pushing like, baby carriages. Yeah. And where were they staying? Whose house were they in? Yeah, or like a hotel, maybe? Well, it, they're on the block, though. Oh, yeah. So they don't explain whose house they go into or where they're staying at all. There's no mention of that. And that's one question I had was, where the fuck are these people staying? I didn't even think about that. Yeah, because they have video surveillance, too, don't they? Yeah. All set up, and they're ordering takeout food yeah. and bringing it back there. Like, what the fuck, you guys? Mm, uh, oh this God. movie just had so many fucking holes. Yeah. And then... Um, oh, but so the, this this RC car scene, this goes through the house and everything. The fucking... Yeah. He creeps up on the head guy, and then he doesn't see it, and then he sees it, but he stares at it for like 15 seconds. Yeah. Just going, oh, there's a camera on an RC car. What should I do? Like, why wouldn't you just grab it immediately? Yeah. Gives him t- the kid time to go, oh, no, he sees me. And reverse, yeah. yeah. And then it just escapes. And then gets covered in clothing. And he, drives uh, through it. Pulls the clothes with it, too. Yep. Remote control cars weigh about five, five pounds, mm-hmm. maybe. That, They'd those, be stuck in yeah, there. Yeah, the clothes weigh probably 20 pounds. Yeah. <sighs> I know. This movie made me angry. It really did. But the only... <clears throat> so... Oh, I, my phone did not pick that up well. <laughs> Oh, yeah, the neighbor, the old lady neighbor who's hanging out. So she's the one neighbor that's been there the whole time. Yeah, she hasn't seen anything. Nope. And then she sees this woman running with a baby stroller. Yeah. And the stroller is, like, bouncing off the snow. Yeah, there's no way there's a baby in there. And she just goes, hmm. Huh, weird. Weird. No, she says something like, people are in a rush, huh? Yeah, that's what it was. Like? Everyone's in a rush. What? Not, why is that stranger pushing that baby carriage at Mach 2? Yeah. Huh. Oh. I'm concerned for that kid. The the RC car breaks through a fence. Oh, yeah. Smashes through a fucking plank fence. And then... And then launches... Launches off of a snowbank into Alex's yard and into his doghouse? Cat? No. He just... I think he just picks it up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but there's no tape in it. Wait. They, oh yeah, because yeah, they he took the tape out. Yeah, because they got a hold of this car at one point. Yep. And oh then yeah, yeah. It drove she, up her face. Yeah, she was holding it, and then he floored it right up her chin. <sighs> so I don't understand this. So he was playing it to his TV. Yeah. So why wouldn't he be recording a backup? I know. Like, it's playing to your TV, and there's a VCR hooked up to it. Record it. Because he's like, oh no, the tape's gone. I have no <sighs> evidence. Yeah. Like. Okay. Uh, Okay. Well, then he calls the Air Force Recruiting Center. Oh, yeah, because the chip he finds. Because he's like, why were they still after the car? They had the tape. So, um, yeah, they he finds the chip and calls the Air Force. Yeah, and the guy's like, listen, man, like, I don't know. I don't know how the fuck he would have thought it was an Air Force chip to begin with. Because does it say... United States Air Force on it? I didn't see any writing on it. I don't think so. But he just goes, I'll call the Air Force Recruiting Center. It's probably a good place to start. Yeah. Not- My, you find a microchip? Yeah. Air Force. Air it's, Force One. It has to be. So he's like, well, I'll look into it. I'll ask somebody about it. Fine. Relax. <laughs> oh, I had it. There was one point. Did you see the size of the laptop that the mom had? Yep. Thing was fucking thick. Mm-hmm. With two C's. It's thick. Why did... Okay. Why did their house have a dumb waiter? I know. Okay. I don't know why their house had a dumb waiter, but at, when I was a kid, any any house, any movie, any TV show that had a dumb waiter, I was like, I want a dumb waiter. Mm. <laughs> like just to crawl in and fuck around in and hide like, oh, I thought those were so cool. Well, they're just a lazy way to deliver food up and down Levels, like floors. I know, but it was so cool. I've only ever seen one one actual house that had a dumbwaiter. It was weird. I was like, cool. what is this thing? Oh, it's a dumbwaiter. It just goes from downstairs to upstairs. Like, for what? 
they put food in there and other things. I'm like, well, but, but, but why? So you don't have to use the stairs. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's the whole idea. Is like you just don't have to walk up and down the stairs. Wow. It should be the lazy waiter. I yeah. If I had a dumb waiter, I would reinforce it so that I could put myself in there. If like if I worked honestly, this is how I'd use a dumb waiter now in my life. If I worked a Wednesday or Friday shift where I work both jobs, one until like nine until four and then bartending five until like you know whatever whenever it stops being busy um i would get home kick my shoes off because my feet are always killing me and i'd hop in the dumb waiter and pull myself up to my room but is it a button or is it it's not like you're not on the rope inside the dumb waiter some old ones did so that would mean that but somebody I'd would press have to a button. be in the dumbwaiter. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I would put myself in the dumbwaiter. I, I know, but what I'm saying is there's no hand controls inside oh. the dumbwaiter. So you'd need a second person to use a dumbwaiter. Yeah. It's not a one-person thing. That's true. Yeah. I'd, put my, I'd put controls in for myself. So you'd have a custom dumbwaiter. Mm-hmm. Hmm. So I was thinking that. I'm like, no, it's not, there's not like a crank rope inside. We're like, all right, get in there. Pull yeah. yourself up to the top. Take this food with you. That'd be hard. That would be harder than taking the fucking stairs. <laughs> Just take the yeah. stairs. <laughs> you don't need it. Or like one of those, um, I call them s- stair roller coasters, where it's the stair chair, oh. where you get in on the bottom. It's for old yeah. people, oh, and yeah. it zips you up. But, but see, yeah, if you want to be lazy, the ultimate <laughs> level of lazy, just get one of those then. Yeah. Like, fuck it, you don't need to. Just be like. Got your house to build a dumb waiter. Okay, but a dumbwaiter no is so like more it would cost aesthetically you, cool. It's just a door in the wall. Yeah, but I don't the know. Stairs are stairs. I don't know. I can't rationally <laughs> logic this. I just want a dumbwaiter. Uh, I don't know why you want a dumbwaiter. It's cool. Also, it's neat. I, I feel think feel like you Brandon would just have to push the button. All right, get up there, and he'd have to take the fucking stairs. <laughs> he'd beat me up there too, probably because yeah. dumb waiters like, are so sing, slow. Sing, sing, sing so long. I'm already in bed. Like, no, but also like dumb waiters because it's a small protected. Um, well, okay. Imagine if that dumb waiter broke <laughs> halfway. No, no, and you were stuck. You were Ooh. stuck in a tiny fucking cube. <gasps> In between your floors, and you couldn't get out, and there was no way to get out because you were home alone. You were home alone like this kid. Oh, my God. Yeah. Ooh, that's a horror that's, movie. There you go. Trapped in the fucking Ooh, dumbwaiter. Ooh, it's like 127 Coming hours. Coming in 2021. I'm stuck in the dumbwaiter. <laughs> I should have put a hand crank no, inside. You could call it dumb waiting. Oh, wow. <laughs> Bam, we're coming up with Boom! ideas. We got the fucking North the Pole. Santas. The Santas. and fucking dumb waiting. Oh, my God. It could be a short, at least. Yeah. And just do time lapse. Like, we're not even time. Time lapse, and then, like, two hours in, six hours in, ten hours. Oh, I got to take a shit so bad. <laughs> oh, shitting and peeing in a dumb waiter would oh be God. awful. You're in a tiny, maybe, like, how do you get the cubit? Like, four by four by four by four? Yeah, so like sixteen by four. You're in a sixty-four cubic foot. No, not not even four feet. It's not four feet big. It's like two feet. So yeah, two by two by it's, two. Yeah. So four, uh, 16 cubic foot cube Oof. trapped in there. If you start farting or take a shit, oh my god, you're gonna puke you, to death. Oh my god, like that would be one of the worst parts. Well, not just like trapped in there. Nobody knows you're in there. You're stuck in the heart of your house, and, and your you house to, just starts leaking bodily fluids. Uh, and it's such a good dumb waiter, it's really sealed. So the pee uh, the, the pee doesn't go anywhere. Oh you just lay in it. God. <laughs> you still want a dumb waiter, Katie? Kinda. Yeah, yeah, no, you do. Cause okay, <laughs> I want I want the dumb waiter because that would be cool. But I thinking about it, I think I want a panic room. See, panic room makes more sense. You're connected to the internet, you've got a fucking laptop in there, whatever, phone lines. You can stand or sit in the chair you've set in your panic room or maybe a couch. I'm protected from bad guys, from intruders, from bad guy intruders. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, this panic room makes more sense. It takes up and more space. And then though. if your drunk friends are over or something, your panic room becomes... You lock the, them in the panic room. It, co- it becomes a timeout room. Oh, wait. Yeah, okay. 
<laughs> you would trap them in there forever. Yeah. Or you could also double it as an orgy room if you're a swinger. Jesus. Yeah. It's probably, well, it has to be soundproofed. Yeah, if you're a swinger, you're just fucking in the whole house. Boo, true. Yeah. But unless think, you're a I very think. specific swinger and you're like, I can only have the swinging in the panic room. And then the panic room becomes the penis room. The panic room is now the fuck room. <laughs> Can we use your fuck room? For what? We just want to chill out. No. It's like, no, you rolled your eyes. I could tell. You're looking shifty. You want to fuck in there, don't you? No. no. Yes. No. No. Yes. So, so they they take they send the um the skinny uh, the the it's only one girl on the crew the, the girl on the crew to go over to the next door neighbors with the stolen dog. Yeah, nobody notices it's yeah, stolen. I don't know if you've ever. Seen someone lose a pet around here? Oh, uh, flyers go up immediately. Well, not even that. There's a company. There's like a, a a group that looks for. So, for example, I was on a date at the beach once. Yeah. And this girl brought her uh, her big Great Dane, and that dog was just kind. Of, we're just oh, he was off leash, running around. We had a fire going, and after like 20 minutes, this guy comes over, and goes, the dog's like running ahead of him. She goes, he's like, is this is he with you? And uh, he, she's like, yeah. And he goes, oh, okay, cool. Just making sure. And he turns around and like, oh, that's the fucking like acronym for the company that that oh. um, looks for like missing animals. Oh, they Rome. Help, they help Rome. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Shout out to Rome. Rome. Finding helping dogs us, and cats. Helping us find a pet. <laughs> Bringing them back to our hearts. But this guy I used to work with, my uh, this is uh, my buddy Josh there. He's, his brother lost his dog out in Souk. And like Rome found the dog like five, five or six days later. Goods. But so this dog, the neighbor's dog, would have been reported missing or stolen. Yeah, because the neighbors it. weren't on vacation; they were just out during the day, so yeah. they weren't like, "Hey, where's our dog?" So that she comes walking up to the house with the dog. She goes to ring the doorbell. He cuts the fucking doorbell wires. Yeah, and then this dog wraps itself around her legs without her noticing, mm-hmm. and takes off and pulls her, yep. pulls her body through the fucking trees and the shrubs. Like nothing. Like yeah, nothing. Like she's a a twig. Yeah. Yeah. The dog couldn't have fucking done that. But I think it's at this point now where they're like, that's it. We're gonna we know where this fucking kid is. Or they track yeah. him down somehow. Cause they call the house. Yeah, and be like, Hi, this is Mrs. Whatever. Um, does your son have this toy car? Cause uh my son is missing heels. And she's like, No, oh, uh, I don't think so. And then he hangs up on her. He's like, you yeah. do not disconnect my phone calls. Yeah. Calm down. And she's like, well, and he goes, call them back. You'll see what's up. And then and then he's sitting on the stairs and she's like, hi, yeah, sorry, my son. And he's like, they redirected the call. <laughs> like, oh, he my God. He just knows. God. Yeah. So this is where he decides, all right, <clears throat> the next day I have at home with my chicken pox that aren't causing me any issues at all. Yeah. I'm going to deck this house out and fuck with these people. He gets a trampoline. Like he he's like, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna make it look like the pool's over here and I'm gonna put the trampoline over the pool. Where was the trampoline? And he's he's pulling up floorboards, he's pulling plywood yeah. off of fucking floors, like like three levels up. Yeah. Because this dude falls a long fucking way before. And this uh, how much luggage did these bad guys bring? I know, like because there's they have, a different outfit every day. Yeah, they've got the white winter outfits or white fur winter outfits. Yeah. This chick has something different to wear every every day. But their initial plan was to just get the chip to the Hong Kong boys. So and they didn't grab luggage when they left the airport chasing that lady. So are they just wearing the shit in the house? The people that Ooh, live there? Maybe. But why do they have such conveniently out convenient outfits yeah. for that. It seemed kind of weird. So then, so they started to assault the house. So this is like the last half hour, I think. Yeah. And uh, he's got a car battery wired to a chair. Okay. An electric fence made out of yarn and twine. Yarn and twine, uh, which isn't electrifiable. If that's a word at all. You know what's funny though? Hmm. That scene, and I made a note of it. An hour and four minutes in. I was watching this and Bran was there. And when they started getting electrocuted, you know that meme that's uh, when you nut, but she keeps sucking? Yeah. <laughs> <I'm> g- <laughs> so Bran's watching this movie with me and he, uh, he sees that scene. And then he's like, 
when you <laughs> when you nut and she keeps on sucking. Oh, and he's just gabbing her. He's like, ah! And it's so funny. I'm trying to find it right now because, like, it's so perfect for the meme and so absurd. When you're watching this, you're just like, holy shit. It's actually so accurate. I'm trying to find it on Disney Plus right now. And you watched it? Yeah. Okay. So Home Alone 3 was on Disney Plus. Yeah, I guess it's a Disney movie. Oh, come on. I know what you're saying, though, because he gets electrocuted like a motherfucker. Yeah, and their faces. And then his, like, he shits himself or something. Like, his ass gets singed. Electricity flies out of his ass. Yeah. Like, lightning shoots out of his fucking butthole. Yeah. Which is just weird. Danger, electrical fence. Don't get electrocuted. This was my favorite part of the movie because, like, imagine acting this. Like, and this scene lasted, like, three minutes. Or no, like, a minute. It went on for a long time. Like. And why... Why would you even chance it? Why would you think, oh, this kid's stupid? Yeah. And, oh. and touch it. Just step over it. The thing was two and a half yeah. feet tall. Just he goes step to over cut it. it with pliers. Like, step over it. Go Maybe, around. Like, do the old, you know, Sam, Sam, what's his name? Sam Neal in fucking Jurassic Park. Throw a stick against it yeah. first. See what happens. That and would then put be your the hand smart near it thing. And then maybe touch it. Just tap it. Just tap it. But he's like, yeah. this kid's fucking stupid. <laughs> and then the other guy sits down in a chair. Like, why are you even sitting down when you're trying to break into a house? I know. He's like, who are those two patio stairs got yeah. me fucked? Better fucking take a rest, bruh. So then when they're getting zapped, the leader guy like looks into the mail slot and he spray paints his face and his eyes black. That would be... That would blind him. I would think so. It would fucking burn. Yeah. And his... It wouldn't be... Like a mask where he opens his eyes and it's white. Like that shit would be in his eyes. And it's just like, oh, it's like a nice little fucking uh, Lone Ranger mask. Yeah. I feel like the electrical fence, that would have short circuited something or started a fire. Yeah. Especially coming, especially when he started shooting firebolts out of his asshole. Yeah. Or maybe knock the power out. too. Yeah. Because, and that guy would have been dead. Yep. He just gets up like, oh, yeah, it shakes it off. At least the traps in the original Home Alone were more like, most of them were like, yeah, you could live through that. Yeah. Like him burning his hand on the doorknob, falling on toy cars, stepping on a nail. The only one that was like, no, you'd be dead was when he opened the door and the fucking flamethrower. The blowtorch. Yeah. That would be like, is it first degree burns that are really bad? Third. Third. Okay. Those would be third degree burns for sure. Um, How'd the kid get a barbell on the I roof know. loaded with weight? And it's yeah. just, it's he's got everything set so perfectly. Yeah. Like, this would take an Ow. engineering background. Yeah. You'd have to know about physics and fucking, like, yeah. angles and weight and mm-hmm. shit. Like, he's just like, nope, just tying it up with wire, and it's going to go off when the, this thing gets pulled. It's so fucking stupid. And I just don't understand why. Like, okay, another one was a guy gets hooked with a fishing line. There's a hook hits oh. his shirt, and he starts going... Like, you already know this kid's setting traps. Yeah. Why would you pull it? Yeah, just unhook it and go, yeah. what's this attached to? Yeah. But I think this is when the fucking books. No, this was the hose. He gets sprayed with the yeah. hose. Which and he then... stands in front of. Yeah. And it's wintertime. So how cold is it? Mm-hmm. There's snow. It's snowing, I think, in the in these scenes as well. Yeah, it and is. The, the hose is not frozen. Nope. Like, here in Canada, it gets under zero. Your hose it's... freezes. Mm-hmm. Even gets like, like uh, even for a couple hours, and then on the other side of the house, the leader guy and butthole lightning guy see the dumbbell and they're like, "Oh, stupid kid!" Blah blah blah, and then trigger another trap, and that's when the books fall on them, and then the girl goes a different way, a side way into the house, and he made like a tar pit. Yeah, a, a mud pit that didn't freeze over. Yeah. Again, it must be warm there. Yeah. 
And she, first of all, put her hand in a giant pail of fucking uh, oh, adhesive. Oh, yeah. Just without looking, because you don't want to look at where your hands are going no, when you're never. sneaking into a house or, no. you know, coming into a booby-trapped fucking place. Oh, and that barbell fell on this, those two fuckers. Yeah. It should've, that should have killed them. Yep. It would have killed them. It would have crushed their fucking skulls. But instead, they're just like, oh, my God, we got hit by weights. Oh, time to get up after shaking off the little birds flying around my head. The lawnmower. Okay, yeah. <sighs> Fuck. That would have fucking smashed up and sliced up his face, killed him instantly. But yep. no, it just gave him a haircut. Yeah, it would have killed him. Yep. How the kid get the fucking lawnmower up there? I know. Like how? Like this. This is. These are the things that the creators of this movie aren't answering. No. Like come on. At least Macaulay Culkin. It was. It was legit. You're like, okay, he could tie that rope up there yeah. and tie him to paint cans. Yeah. Yeah. He could put that nail there. You saw him do it. Yeah. You didn't see this kid setting up the majority of his traps. No. No. So you're like, okay, sure. Yeah. How'd you get the lawnmower into the fucking roof of the garage? And, yeah. he, and he removed like two floors of the house. Yeah. So they'd fall through the attic to the basement. Yeah. Okay. Like I just how was he gonna explain this to his parents? I know. Like, dude, you ripped the fucking house apart. Oh, and he and he oh, okay. So then that somehow the one dude steps into two like roller toys or something. Yeah, that have cement or some high adhesive bonding thing in them, and he gets stuck. And goes down the stairs, but uh, so that begs the question: What kind of family has all these fucking just massive amounts of adhesives and pails well, of adhesive? They're renovating the attic. Oh, I missed that. Yeah, at the beginning, she's like talking to her boss, and she's like, "We're doing massive renovations." Blah 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 blah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's right, that's right. I remember that now. But mm. still, why is it accessible so easily to a child? Well, yeah, he just gets his hands on all of it. Yeah. But this guy falls down the stairs. His Something hits a shit pipe. Yeah. And it breaks. And I don't know what you would do if oh, raw sewage he, just started falling, falling on you. He accidentally shoots it because he had a gun. Oh, yeah. And he just sits there under it. Yep. He's Doesn't like. Doesn't move. Okay. This is gross. Getting covered in shit. Yeah. <sighs> We're almost there. And then the main guy is in the house now, and he has a huge fucking gun. Oh, this is when he sets it down on the and, on the dryer. And then shoots himself in the oh, ass. No, for some reason. Oh, no, no. There's a, a scene where, I guess it's the guy in the basement, puts down a gun, his gun, his heavy gun. Yes. And for some reason, doesn't reach for his gun, reaches next to his gun. And, and gets the spray-painted yeah, bubble gun. Uh, over, uncover, or covers his up with a towel and grabs a fucking toy gun. There would be like a five-pound difference. Yeah. You'd notice the fucking weight difference. It's like this is how a, a testament to how dumb these criminals are. Yeah. These guys deserve to get caught. Yeah. They all do. They're fucking stupid. Because he like you notice it. Mm -hmm. <sighs> and I made a note. I love how in Home Alone and this one, I'm excluding Home Alone too, because that one is more about um the wet bandits getting their revenge. Are they both in that one too? Yeah. Oh, fuck, I haven't seen that one in a long time. Um so Home Alone in this one, the robbers, the bad guys, whatever, they don't give up. They're literally getting pounded and like injured by all these traps and not one of them is like not worth fuck it. Fuck it. I'm out. Like and don't get me wrong, if I'm getting like attacked and like hurt i'm pissed but i'm also like smart enough and have the darwinism to be like i'm not gonna continue of this i'm not gonna continue this it's survival of the fittest i'm not gonna be like ha -ha, let's finish the traps gotta set them all off yeah gotta catch them all oh this and there's like the rat jumps into his pants he doesn't yeah. even doesn't even notice it, and I then know. doesn't even look at it. She's like, "Hang on, this is that classic like yeah. tarantula on the chest." Yep. Harry, don't move. Marv, yeah. what are you doing? Marv? <laughs> With the crowbar. <sighs> now, that was so good. Yeah. It's so good. This was so bad. It's I know. like it's like no, you're not even. It's don't even do it. So then they okay. I don't know if you ever jumped on a trampoline. Mm -hmm. I had a trampoline growing up. And I jumped off. I jumped off of a, a two stack of round bales, which is about oh ten, let's say twelve feet. Yeah. Onto the trampoline, onto my knees. It was a terrible, terrible decision, and I instantly regretted it because I got whiplash. 
and, yeah. So jumping off of a fucking house. Yeah, a three-story tra- house. Onto a trampoline in the winter when it's covered in snow. Two full-grown adult males. Yeah, they crash through it. It's the worst idea you could ever have. Like yeah. why? Like they should have went. You go first. Yeah. Because there maybe would have been a chance it didn't break mm-hmm. at that height, and it would have bounced off and then ended up in, in in the pool. Yeah. But no, instead these morons jump two at a time mm-hmm. and just wreck that trampoline. Yeah. And land in the pool. And stay in the pool. Yeah. And then, um, so, uh, bad guy leader is in, or no, uh, Alex goes to his neighbor, old lady's house, because they tied her up and left her there with the door open. She's, like, freezing. Oh, yeah. And then bad guy... Is she freezing, though? (laughs) Yeah, I don't know, actually. And then bad guy leader comes in and is, like, gonna... um, shoot oh my god is gonna shoot the kid Alex yeah Alex and then Alex realizes looking at it that it's the dart gun so then Alex grabs the bubble gun and is like that's not your gun this is your gun and he's like backing up like do you think the eight year old's gonna pull the trigger really yeah and this fucking hardened terrorist is like, oh shit, oh, oh shit, oh shit. Yeah. yeah, like you and don't know how to disarm him. Runs like, away and then, yeah. See the bubbles. I'm like, fuck you. Yeah. So then he goes off. The parents and the FBI show up at the house. He's trying to warm up the cranky Mrs. lady. Hess. Yes, Mrs. Hess. And um, the FBI agent full on says, "I've been trying to get them for seven years." Seven years. And an eight-year-old manages to do it. Quit your job. You're fired. <laughs> These guys hung out in the open in a neighborhood, a suburban neighborhood, for for days, trying to break into houses and find a chip. Yep. They, like, that's the dumb... Seven years the FBI's been looking for you. You're on the FBI's most wanted list. And you're just chilling out in, in, in the suburbs, yep. fucking trying to break into people's houses. Like, okay. <sighs> So then the the FBI gives Alex a six-figure sum reward for capturing them. It's pretty cool. Yeah. And then all the criminals are getting their photos oh. taken, and they all have chicken pox. Yeah. The, the thing that I even went, where did they get chicken pox? Yeah. And I went, oh, yeah, Alex was supposed to have chicken pox. Yeah. When did they touch him? Yeah. Did they ever touch him? Mm-mm. Like did the did the main bad guy touch him in the Mrs. Hess scene? I can't remember. He was the closest to him. But I don't think they ever actually laid hands on him. No, I don't think so. so. Did they get were they rolling around in his bed? Were they touching <laughs> his stuff? Oh look, his underwear. Yeah, like it doesn't Give me your sweater. <laughs> yeah. Rub my face. It just didn't make any sense. Yeah. This yeah, but... was <laughs> to think that like there's the original lovable Home Alone. Which is still a fantastic such movie. Such a good movie. And then this one, that that John Hughes, because he directed the first one, the second one, and this one, that John Hughes was like, yes, we're going to make Home Alone 3. Oh, Macaulay, uh, Catherine, Catherine O'Hara, O'Hara, and that daddy-o and the wet bandits don't want to come back. Fuck them! We're going to do the exact same movie as a third, as a, not a sequel. Yeah. A sequel, a trilogy, but none of the same characters. Like, what a slap in the face. It's a bad and choice. I bet all the original actors of the first and second one, like, saw this come out and were like, ha ha, yeah. They dodged the bullet. Yep. Because it was just, the, the premise of it was stupid. Yeah. It was uh, stupid. Like, uh, why... Terrorists trying to steal a microchip. Yeah, with missile codes on it. Yeah, like that seems like it's a premise for a Bond movie. Yeah, not, not a Home fucking Alone. children's movie. <sighs> Thank God it's done. Thank God yeah. it's over. Oh my God. Woo, we did it. Home Alone next, though. That's going to be fun. Yes. We a picked a real good, good one. movie. Still, to this day, great fucking movie. Yeah. Like, great good, movie. Makes you feel, makes you laugh. Yep. Scene, yeah. in the, scene in the church. I watched the oh. movies that made us before I watched that. And yeah. it was worth it. Because it's like, oh, yeah, I forgot about this. Oh, that's cool. It's like knowing that it was a $16 million movie and it made like 
six hundred yeah. million dollars, something crazy like yeah. this. Yeah. Wow. All right. Well, wait. What? What do you rate this one? Um, one chicken pock out of a million chicken pox. Wow. I'm gonna give it <clears throat> one Macaulay Culkin ass <laughs> out of. A hundred buzz ate my cheese pizzas. <laughs> yeah. Someone will have to barf it all up because it's gone. Because it's gone. Dick. Look what you did, you <laughs> little jerk. Oh my God. Oh, if I my uncle quotes. if my uncle said that to me when I was eight years old, my grandma would have been like, excuse me? Yep. She wouldn't have been like, Yeah, Katie. You ruined everything, Katie. Yeah, fuck. All right. Fuck home alone three. Yeah. Thanks for listening, everybody. Work. Find us where you find us. Yeah. You know what's up. We got another one coming up right here right away. Stay tuned. Woo! Bye! This is Real Garbage. 